Welcome back to Science Rocks. While the District Science Showcase supports kindergarten through fifth grade, it all starts in the kindergarten. We're going to take a look at an awesome classroom at Sutherland Elementary to see what happens when five-year-olds begin to explore. Well, what I have going on here is a lot of hands-on science for my children. I find that my kids are a variety of learners, and a lot of their learning right now uh, that they're doing in science is hands-on. Maybe it had like water on it, and it spread it out, so now it's like stuck. Well, it's today, I provided them with uh, viewing tubes. And in those viewing tubes, we, I provided them with all different kinds of materials that we use in the classroom. Would that be a good solution? Things that we see in nature. Oh, that's an ant. And there's beetles. Capturing them at this age is just, I think, extremely important. And we have like a couple fish in there, and I have um, like two boys in my class who like to come over here and like fish. So like fish, they like to go like fishing, so they like to put like put their hand in and try to catch like some fish in there. <gasps> oh my goodness, did you get that on film? Not only uh, provided them just with science, but I do provide them with science throughout the whole day. So it's incorporated in my language arts, my math, social studies, and science. So it's throughout the whole day. Uh, we have like like caterpillars. So like they turn in, so they have to like be big enough so they turn they turn into a J and then so like they turn into so they just have to eat like a lot of leaves. So in kindergarten I find that science is just such a natural thing. Um, they are able to observe the world so easily and they're not um, intimidated by it like we are as adults. <laughs> And then, like, they can move, except they like to sleep. Uh-huh. There you go, sleeping on the And then, come on. Does that scare you when they move around like that or no? Um, no, they're just, like, really, really ticklish. Okay. Um, some caterpillars just like to, like, um, milkweed just like to curl up in, like, funny spots for their, like, nap. Then we've been having, like, a lot of caterpillars. So then we just like to like look at them and like feel them and um, Miss Carney lets us like have them open for like a center so we can like hold them and pet them and like see what they do. Their inquiry is uh, very natural. They have a natural way of looking at things unlike us as adults. Um, so this hands-on piece is very important for that. It bring a lot of nature in for them. My guy's pooping. He's climbing Tyler's hand. And then like we have like some like duck eggs that like get warm and then like um, so this this number is like 10 and they have to turn them like X to O so like one doesn't grow a big wing and one doesn't grow a little wing. Everything that they can see in the world and that gets them so excited because then it becomes full circle from here to home to the, the community as well. Um, that's a chrysalis, so um, that's kind of, that's like mine. Mine's about to like hatch because like when you see like one wing, it's about to like hatch because science has cool cool experiments and um, I like science because each time I did science with Miss Carney, um, I learned something new. Okay, so it's been about four weeks since you last were here, and we've had some exciting things that occur. Our caterpillars have gone all the way from the egg to the caterpillar to chrysalis, many of them, to now butterflies. In this cage, we have seven butterflies, and so you will be seeing those. We have about one male, and the rest are female. So that's really exciting because we'll put them out in our butterfly garden, which is located right here uh, on our playground, and that way we can have another life cycle. Oh, let it fly. Tyler, can you just let it fly? He landed in your box, Tyler. Yeah. Put him on my nose. Get on my nose. Oh, 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 oh,
Additionally, we have added a few of our fish to our aquatic ecosystem as well, um, and some other specimens to the ecosystem, such as plants, so that there's some substance for those fish to eat. That one was shivering. So today we noticed something. There was a little um, vibration inside the egg. See the little see where the tooth is going through there. It's called an egg tooth. You can see where the duck tooth is coming through the eggshell. So they're ready to come out within a couple days. So that's very exciting. So we have two that are at that stage and you can actually hear them peep inside the egg. They come close to your ear. The kids, when they are really still and quiet, they, uh, they get a real big kick out of them peeping, so that's been really fun. Hopefully, um, it'll happen on Monday. A couple of them I know will happen over the weekend, um, but then those will probably egg their other, no, no pun intended, but they'll egg the other ones on to come out of their shell as well. <laughs>